Hello, parents. Um, <clears throat> I want to give you an introduction to your students' uh, AP U.S. Government and Politics class. As you can see, my name is Mr. Steve Moran. Um, my contact information is there, and um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a description of the class, um, a couple ways you can help, and um, then uh, the dates of the exam. So in order to start with, um, the expectations are pretty simple, but they are real. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is there's hardly ever any homework. That's because the class is, is given over a year and there is plenty of time inside class to um, get the information in and, and the students to have. Um, what you can do is help your students be motivated. Um, senioritis is a real thing um, and most of you, your parents, most of my students are seniors. Um, can help them stay motivated with their work, especially as second semester rolls around. That would be probably the biggest help um, that I could get from you. Um, the course is rigorous in that it asks for uh, great knowledge of nine foundational documents. It also asks for in-depth knowledge of 15 separate Supreme Court cases, in addition to the other work that is true college-level work. Um, so they are doing college level classes um, and actually from what I know about introductory Georgia classes that they can use the AP class to get out of, those are actually easier. The introduction to U.S. government class in, in the Georgia college system is actually easier than this class. So they are getting a real good college level course. Um, as far as the coursework goes, um, everything in the class that we do is geared toward the AP exam, especially the assessments. And again, you know we have formative 25%, summative 75%. But so just so you have an idea, we'll do what I call reading quizzes, but they're actually quizzes on the notes that'll generally be 20 to 30 multiple choice questions. There'll be practice essays or practice FRQs, and there'll be critical reading and thinking questions that all go together to help them work towards um, their summatives and for as well as the AP exam. So again, then summatives, as you know, 75%. There'll be unit tests. Most units, there are five of them. Most of them have one test. Um, the unit two that we have will have two tests because it's such a big unit. It's on the different branches of government. Um, there's, of course, a midterm and a final that they can exempt if their average is above 90. Um, and there'll be four to six. This is for the year. There'll be four to six full summative um, free response questions um, in the manner, whether it's court case questions or the, uh, the argumentative essay or the other two types of smaller questions. So we will do those as well. So just last word on the AP exam itself. Our exam is the very first one on the very first day. So it's Monday, May 3rd. It will be here at Lambert as far as we know right now. The first part is 55 first questions, only 80 minutes. They get a 10 minute break, excuse me. And then the four types of FRQs, four different FRQs in 100 minutes. Um, the concept application, quantitative analysis, which is data, the SCOTUS comparison questions, the report of the United States, that's what they need to know those 15 court cases for. Um, those three each get 20 minutes. Thank you again. Um, I look forward to the year with your students.